Hello everyone, and in this video, you will learn how to automate your VLOOKUP from another workbook. So if you haven't seen the previous video I made on um, automating from a single workbook, you should check that out. I explained quite a bit there, and uh, I will leave a link to it in the description of this video. So I have created this uh, pink button to execute my codes, but before that, um, these two files is what we are working on so this is the file i'm currently on and i want to do a vlookup from this file to this file i want to look i have some values here some fields like the um the customer name the city latitude longitude etc inside this lookup table and i want to grab them from here into here and you would want these two files to be in the same location for this method to work. So having said that, let's continue. So this is how it works. Um, all this, this is my unique ID and this is the button here. So once I click on this pink button, it should go to that lookup table, grab the data and do the VLOOKUP and close the table and, and close the workbook. So click on it and it will ask you, uh, okay, what is the file name? VLOOKUP table Excel SX like that, and then you click on OK to do the VLOOKUP, populate it, and close the other table just like that. So without um, wasting much of our time, let's let's get right into it. Let's go over to the um, Visual Basic Editor. All right, so right away, this is the these are the codes for them, and here is where we will do the um, the opening of the the other table that we're looking for and this will be very very helpful in uh, making everything dynamic so for example we we'll start like this you start the sub auto v lookup this is the name i give it this is this is the name i'm giving it and of course let me copy this name and rename the model like that so it's easier to identify um, then you create this dimension here or create a variable so I created two variables dim dim keyword file location and the file a string and let's file location this is where we currently are in for this uh, this folder here this is its file part this workbook part then we want to create an input box the input box you saw earlier and you can add this comment here this is my comment uh, that you want to look up like that and i put this here for line continuation space and um, underscore then this another comment then here this is the default file that it will prompt it will prompt you which you can change this to nothing if you want or you can i prefer you add in a, like a default file that the input box would um, sort of print out for you then now to open the file you deem file open this variable you can name it as you want a string so that when you open the file like this from here it to whatever name you are giving it whatever file name you give it like this it will go to this file location from here this file location add um, um, concatenate with the um, with this slash and then concatenate again with the file name itself and it will open the file for you but like i said caveat the file that we want to open and the um the, that's the file that we're going to look up from and the file that we, that we currently are in should be on the same file location or the same file part for this method to work so remember that and then um we open the um lookup table and after opening it up we want to jump back to our current folder like the folder we want to do the vlookup from which is this folder here 
which is where we are in in my desktop this one so then we want to go to these sheets let me put them side by side so then we want to go to this sheet here this is where we want to do the VLOOKUP so we'll go to these sheets and next we, we you can use this to clear selection so things can start afresh but it doesn't really matter but just it's just best practice to clear everything first before it starts now you would need to dimension all the fields that you want to view the cup on a regular basis like this these are all my so i dimensioned i created a variable for this guy this guy this guy and so on and so forth like this so once you do this first then i explained a lot about this about this other part here in the previous video i'll put a link to that um you can watch that for yourself so this is where the magic happens this is the loop so for each of these if you, you can start with them one by one like i can see that it's actually very easy for each customer name as range like this for each customer name in range so b2 down to b127 and like i said before this b127 is like a um maximum margin so Whatever I want to view look up, I um, assume that it will not pass one B127. But for you, it might be 1000 or whatever. You can just add it here so that the code can actually, um, the loop can actually get to wherever you want it to stop. Then this one um, on error resume next is very important because, like, you can see that this A7 now this i put this deliberately in my um, data queue sheet in the lookup table you would actually not this does not exist so whatever doesn't exist with this method it will give you an error a very nasty debug error 114 something like that and you don't want to see that so this will help you bypass it so what this on error resume next will do is that when it gets to this point it will skip it when it gets to any error, you skip it. And it is very important too for here. You know, I have um, my iteration or my loop goes all the way to one, one, one to seven, right? It goes all the way to one seven. So it's actually still looping through that one seven or whatever maximum you give it. And then when it gets, see, it, there's no value here now. When it gets down here, it will give you an error. So to avoid the error, to bypass that, we use this um, on error resume next so that it will just, you would not see it happen, but that's what it's doing. You just look through, just go next, right through all of them and continue doing what it's supposed to do. So that's it. And um, then you now state that customer name dot value is equal to applications dot worksheet functions like this vlookup and this is where the vlookup will now take place like where you it's basically just like a regular vlookup from here but just a little tweak if you're going to if you are doing a normal traditional vlookup for example it will ask you for the vlookup value this is the vlookup value right so we're basically doing the same thing but now we want to move here we are here and we want the value left one time to be two right that is what this offset will do like this so it's saying that now that i am in b2 i want to move to the left one time so it's move this if we're here in longitude it will be it will be offset zero comma one two three four it, this will be minus four like this from zero one two three four this is the lookup value so that is exactly why this is here in, in case you are confused by by it you now put in the this workbooks then remember we stated the file earlier this is why it's very important to put this so that you won't have to come here every time to that would be ridiculous we already stated that the file, whatever you input here from the input box, it will come to this workbook, 
dot sheets what sheet this one you give it the range of table just like a regular view lookup and then you put in where what column do you want to find it and it will be in the second column you can now put false here so that it doesn't return a uh, um, so it returns an exact match or you can put zero it doesn't really matter so it's all the same and that is some sometimes you can put an if error here if you want but it's not really necessary and then after that you put the next customer name and that's that's pretty much it and then for the next one i mean city now zero um here offset by what minus two minus two columns that's one two and to find that and i treat like that and then force for exact match and then you go to the next city like that so just to see how it works you can just press f8 from here you press f8 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 and to prompt you with this so it, depending on the name that you're looking for but this is my file name click on ok and it has passed that and then keep going activate this file go to um sheets the um table a sheet that's why i want in case i'm not there and then to clear out um and then it will now do the loop see it to do that then go to the next one it will keep doing the loop and and watch when it gets to that um 23e e it will skip it because it, there's actually nothing like that so that's how it works and everything works fine you can save and don't forget to save your um don't forget to save this um procedure as um macro enabled one if not you lose your data so for me here i already have this button here where i assign my macro so you right click you go to assign macro so it is this one here b from this workbook and then you click on ok and that's it so i can choose to clear this if i want but no need i already have that in my code and when i click on the the pink button it will ask me for the lookup table you click on ok and it will populate everything for you just like that and then close that lookup um, um, workbook so that's it for this video um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have other more effective methods. And uh, thank you for um, sticking around. I'll see you in the next one.